What's up everybody, it's Glenn, the Movie Guru, and I am bringing you our next review of Doctor Who's 50th Anniversary, The Day of the Doctor. Alright everybody, so, just finished watching the 50th anniversary of the Day of the Doctor, of Doctor Who. Um, so, once again, my stuff will contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen it, please stop watching right now, because I'm going to spoil some stuff for you. Uh, with that being said, it was very good. I thought, um, at first it was a little weird, I thought that the whole thing was just kind of... I'm like, where are they going with this? It's, it's like jumping around and crazy. Um, and then it all just kind of came together. And it was good. A little under cheesy factor, but that's okay. I mean, it's the 50th anniversary, so of course it's going to be um, thrown in a lot of uh, cheese, uh, cheesy stuff with, uh, you know, all the throwbacks of the first Doctor and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the scarves from the fourth doctor I thought was pretty good um, So, you know, but I mean like it was it wasn't overly cheesy, but it, it did have its uh, The cheese, you know, I thought that was a uh, pretty good. So um, All in all, I mean it was a great great episode been waiting months for it to come out and uh, you know the 3d that they had on it was pretty cool uh, I'm sure it was probably spectacular in the movie theater. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch it in the movie theater. Um, but, I mean, it was great. I can't really stop talking about it. Um, David Tennant, love him. He, uh, I, I, He's my favorite doctor. Um, you know, uh, he was one of the people that I got interested in watching. Um you know, and then I rewatched all of Christopher Eccleston's um, Doctor Doctor Who's um, first season. So you know, but with uh, with Billy Piper, um, you know, I thought her part could have been a lot better because um, she wasn't uh, Rose Tyler. She she was the moment or the bad wolf. Um, you know, I, I mean, she wasn't bad, so, you know, at least there was that. But it, it kind of felt like, you know, she should have been in it, you know, like Rose Tyler uh, traveling around with uh, David Tennant's uh, 10th Doctor. Uh, John Hurt. So his character, I liked him. Um, I, the way they perceived it, I thought he was going to be, you know, this really hard, like, very hard... Uh, doctor that they were gonna like you know um, you know it just made a stone and didn't care but I mean he had a lot of soul uh, because he wasn't the doctor that had pushed a button yet to kill all the um, all the all of his time lords and all the people on Gallifrey and um, you know kill the Daleks and all that stuff so you know there's there's all that um, but I mean, I liked how they portrayed him, um, you know, as, um, uh, one of these type of people that are like, should I do it? Should I not do it? And, uh, so, you know, all in all, I have to say, I give this episode, uh, five spare ribs out of five. Um, and, you know, tell me what you guys think if you guys watched it and if you liked it, you know, please leave comments. Let me know what you thought of the series as a whole. I mean, there are so many little bits that you can kind of pick up. I'd have to watch it a couple more times to uh, to pick up on some of the lesser known things. But um, one of my favorite parts was uh, when uh, Matt Smith went through the time jump and came across uh, David Tennant. And uh, <laughs> they were having the... Uh, the sonic screwdriver off, uh, as it should be, and, uh, you know, David Tennant pulls out his, and he's like, what? and then Matt Smith is like, Whoo! and then he goes, what? and that was just friggin' 
hilarious. I had to rewind that a couple times because it was uh, it was pretty funny. And then he's like compensating. And <laughs> I just thought that was pretty funny. Uh, and then the whole banter between uh, David Tennant and uh, uh, I think Joanna Page playing Queen Elizabeth. Uh, you know, <laughs> him getting it wrong every time that he didn't, uh, oh, you're a Zygon. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. And it was just one of those things like, it's like, oh, just open mouth and cert foot, you know? So all in all, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Um, and then at the end, you know, you had Tom Baker show up and you know, <laughs> they're hinting that he, he is the, the doctor, uh, you know, someday you'll revisit my face, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, I thought that was awesome. I thought that was pretty good. I didn't see that coming, um, you know. But, uh, yeah, all in all, great episode. Uh, can't wait for the Christmas special. Now we got another month to wait. Um, and then we'll see the regeneration uh, of Matt Smith into uh, Peter Capaldi. And uh, I did like, however, though, when they brought all the the um, the doctors together, and they, you know, it was quick, but you, you could watch it real quick, and you see the guy get his uh, an up close of uh, the new doctor. Uh, so he did make an appearance in the 50th anniversary, uh, you know, whether it be stock footage or whatever, uh, and you know, that was good. I I thought. But I loved how they all saved Gallifrey. 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 Jeez, oh, I can't even talk anymore because it's just a long night. And, um, you know, instead of, like, destroying it. So where they're going to go from there, we'll hopefully find out. Uh, maybe they'll bring the Time Lords back and, you know, revisit, revisit that. And, yeah. So anyway, as always, thank you for checking out my page. And... If you like me, please subscribe, and uh, I will talk to you guys in the comments uh, throughout the week, and then we'll go from there. So thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.